Welcome to the new section of this course where we will focus on important security aspects of your Moodle installation. This is the first lesson on security and we will focus on the first line of defense that is the standard security recommendations provided by Moodle.org. Each of the points in this lesson is well established in the technology world and I will expect you to research and do some more of your own diligence on this. The first and foremost action is to have a backup of everything on your site. The best security strategy is to have a good backup. Not only should you have backups, but you should also restore and test your backup at the same time and probably every time. Going two steps ahead, let me say, that you should have a backup policy in place and you should look at automation wherever possible. Update your Moodle regularly. Moodle follows a time bound release mechanism and not a feature bound pattern. This makes it easier for you to plan your own update frequency. The first point of backups which we just now saw goes hand in hand with updating your Moodle installation. Published security holes draw crackers attention after release. The older the version, the more vulnerabilities it is likely to contain. So have a plan in place for updating Moodle. This can be easier if you are using hosted systems who are committed to keep updating both Moodle and the server operating system for you. This next point is only if you are using earlier versions of Moodle before version 3.0. PHP version 5.3.0 had a directive called register globals that was very popular cross site scripting threat. If this is true in your case, locate the directive in php.ini and disable this directive. Ensure strong passwords for admin, managers and teachers. You can enforce this automatically in Moodle and we will see how this is done later in the same section. Choosing difficult passwords is a basic security practice to protect against a brute force cracking of accounts. Higher role accounts should only be given to trusted users. While this sounds obvious, there will often be many ways in which it may get broken. For example, on demo sites and sandbox sites. Teacher accounts have much more freer permissions and it is easier to create situations where data can be abused or stolen. Another basic security technique is to use different passwords on different systems, use different machines for different services and so on. This will prevent damage being widespread even if one account or one server is compromised. There is a ton of established best practices for every aspect of the network, including web applications. Existing knowledge has to be fully utilized. So finally, let's look at a summary for this lesson. We started our section on Moodle security by looking at the first line of defense in this lesson. These points might seem pretty obvious for you, but statistically these are where most security holes are found. Backups might be done, but never restored to test if the backup process even is being done correctly. In the next few lessons, we will continue on this topic looking at Moodle specific security features. See you in the next lesson.